You know what, Gil? I'll honor your request. Mercy! Well, that didn't seem like mercy killing at all! That seemed like murder! Oh well! Hello everyone, this is Roxas1D59, welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock 2! Last time, we finished up Fontaine Futuristics by getting the genetic key code to get us into Persephone. We also dealt with the last little sister in the game that we have to do for Gathers, and closed off the Mark Meltzer storyline. So, without further ado, let's head on down to Persephone. Where we can never come back to Fontaine Futuristics because apparently the button stops working. I don't know. It's stupid. I'm in Persephone. Persephone. We're finally here. Find Eleanor, son, and fast. Her mama's got all rapture dying to keep you two apart. And I'm the one doing the killing! That was a perfect time for that uh, animation. Now, one thing actually that I... Even though I just said that the savior was for sparing Gil Alexander, it's not only that. Uh, during the loading screen, I checked out the trophy description. It's for sparing Grace Holloway, Stanley Poole, and... Gil Alexander. You have to spare them all in order to get that trophy slash achievement. I think achievement wise it's worth 25 skill, skill points. 25 points. So what do we have to do in Persephone? Well we have no more big daddies to deal with so that's fine. We have no more of the tonics to find inside of outer Persephone which is where we're currently at. When it comes to new enemies there's going to be one but it's just an alternate form of a brute splicer it's called the elite splicer. Well, Elite Brute Splicer. We have one new plasmid that we're going to be given to us based on plot related. I was going to say plot Persephone stuff. Well, technically it's true. Plot related stuff, and that should be the last base tonic we need in this plasmid we need in this game, which means we should get another trophy for that. And there are only five audio diaries and one power to the people station in Outer Persephone. Outer Persephone can only be accessed during this time, obviously. So, what is Persephone exactly? It's a penal colony, where basically anyone who was against Andrew Ryan in any way, shape, or form, or even suspected, was sent. Not only that, this was where everyone got... Father, come quickly. I, I'm trapped in a cage. Something's wrong. Well, that's not good. Uh, as I was saying, Persephone pretty much is where Gil Alexander and Fontaine Futuristics got test subjects for plasmids and for the protector program such as Big Daddy. So we were sent here and then sold. I wonder, Delta, do you know why you are here? Have you any idea what my daughter has given you? As I watch you now, I envy your ignorance. You still believe. <laughs> that I can't kill you? What do I believe? But here we have the only power to the people station inside out of Persephone. Obviously very easy to get to. So we have our last of the weapons and what is this one? Uh, additionally munitions? I see. Ah, this is a bouncer upgrade for it. I see. I see. Uh, well I'm getting the clip size so I might as well end up getting that but here we have the clip size for it. So now we can hold more ammunition and I need the camera right here because somebody's gonna be around here in a bit. But first things first, let's hack everything here. I'm not used to having this much health. It's kind of odd, really, to have this much health, but rivets I can't carry anymore. Well, great, thanks. Anyone around here? No? Okie dokie. Hmm. This room seems interesting. So what's inside here is nothing, really. Hmm. That sucks. I'm pretty sure there's an audio diary hidden somewhere around here. Outer Persephone is one of those ones that I... Towards the end of the game, I don't really remember as much as I should because really... I don't know, I just... I put it down for a while and then I don't come back to it for another while. But where is that audio diary? There it is. This is Selling Ryan Short. This is by Augustus Sinclair. So let's actually listen to it. Persephone. 
secret home of Sinclair Solutions. I bet against Andy Ryan's vision of harmony and rapture, offered him a quiet place to send anybody who wasn't working out, and now I'm sitting on my own private think tank. Technically, Utopia shouldn't have much use for a detention facility, but if you do business as long as I have, well, you learn to pick a brand name from the writing on the wall. Oh, Sinclair. So, let's get this security bot, because I'm gonna need this, believe me. So, you're on my side. And that's weird. Normally a Brute Splicer comes and attacks me right now. How odd. But, there she is, ladies and gentlemen, in the atrium. Right there, in front of us. But, of course, we're gonna, you know, cut this little reunion short. That's her, son. Eleanor Lamb. No matter what you might be feeling right now, this is business. Get that cage open. She's coming with us. You make that sound very threatening, Sinclair. But, as you can see, we have a full place to buy our ammunition with, geez, we have a lot. Um, heat-seeking rockets, I'm gonna... Oh, you can only buy one rocket at a time? That's... that's lame. That's... and only two frag grenades at a time? I could've sworn it was three. Uh, might as well buy the frag grenades. And there is another one on the other side. I believe right now in the background... Oh, for, no, for a second I thought it was playing Parabond. It's not. Parabond is probably my favorite uh, track in this entire game, to be quite honest. Parabond, for those of you who don't know, is the track that plays in the intro cutscene. And sometimes on the uh, title screen, uh, I find that the title screen ends up uh, fluctuating between what theme is currently playing. But whenever it plays Parabond, it's great. I love Parabond. Hmm, lots of health kits. I wonder what's going to happen. But let's find. We found Eleanor Lamb. So let's open it up. How will she remember us after this moment? I have placed my pieces on the board, as expected, as have you. Is this what she hoped for? Mother and father, locking eyes. Yet still we are blind. Goodbye, Subject Delta. And take heart, for you, at least, have escaped your legacy. What are you gonna send after me? I... Didn't. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! That's right, ladies and gentlemen! Two big sisters to fight. Not one, but two. We gotta take them both on. These are the last two big sisters you will be fighting in this game. These are the last two chances for you to research. So, pretty much, make it all worth it. And what I'm gonna do is... There we go! And big sister research bonus. Acquired tonic, drill vampire. So... Drill Vampire heals your body and your mind as you drill. Drain health right out of your foes with Drill Vampire, which is you gain small amounts of health and eve when inflicting damage with the drill. It's helpful, but it's not one that I really use. Uh, I've never been a fan of it. So instead, store it and just smash you, which means we now just need to take them out. Oh, come on. Oh, I missed. Oh, I'm out of... I'm out of fuel. You made me think I was out of fuel. Do-do-do! Do-do-do! No, I missed... Ow! Ah! What is going on? Ah! Do-do-do! Ow! Ah! God dang it, stop it. I'm trying to have fun! And also loot the bodies. Always loot the bodies. Oh, missed me! Don't taunt it, Roxas. Kind of a bitch. Die. I want you to go flying, lady. I want you to go flying, lady. Have two. Oh, no, I miss. Have a third. And I need to get more health kits. Don't mind me. Just gonna grab this and this. And gonna go over here. And I want to... Oh! Jeez, you scared me, lady. Yeah, just stay, stay near that. There we go. Uh, uh that, that, that worked perfectly. Uh, please stop that. And get headshot. And trap. Doo-doo! 
Now, one thing is, whenever you end up stabbing somebody with this, it will automatically engage no matter what. You gotta watch out, obviously, because, you know, if you're in the way, it'll end up uh, kind of damaging you. Oh, she landed right in the water. Wow. She's trying to do the burst attack that uh, sends out damage to her, but it didn't work, so bye bye Hurry now. Quarantine chamber's waiting on you. Get in there. I need to loot. If you end up not looting these bodies right now, they will be gone, so you will lose out on 80 Adam. While that doesn't seem like much, considering that we have no more little sisters to end up harvesting or, like, gathering for, it's something that you need to keep in mind. What are you waiting for, kid? I'm preparing! I'm not just gonna go all willy-nilly and not have a present. I'm pretty sure she probably needs a health kit or two. Oh no. Look at her, Delta. Ten years, and still she dreams of you. Fifty seconds remaining. Do you know why Eleanor brought you here? She wanted a father. So she found a way to restore you in body and mind. Maybe it's because you had me shoot myself in front of her! you ever since, exalting your every act as gospel. She watched me do bad t- I mean good touch? Uh-oh. The girl lying on that bed is no longer my child, nor my life's work. She is a monster. Shaped by you alone. Just as she has always wanted. 20 seconds remaining. But that was way past 50 control. seconds! She failed to account for. Your body was designed to lapse into a coma when her heart ceases to beat. What? Eleanor, forgive me. <laughs> You are a terrible mother! And I thought I was bad for taking one into a brothel! I'll see you in hell! Not you, your mother. Watch it. His body is shutting down now, naturally. But if he dies of trauma, he will return elsewhere. Full restraints at all times. No one enters this room until he expires. Can someone change the channel? Father, it's me, Eleanor. I'm so sorry. Mother stopped my heart long enough to sever our bond. Staying near me won't stop you from dying now. Or worse. But I can still help you escape. This little sister's brought you something that will allow you to take control of her. What is this? Invasion of the Body Snatchers! Uh, Daddy's drunk. And has no more textures! <laughs> well, 